Hello and welcome to the section of Differential Equations Tutor. Here we're going to continue working with variation and parameters and we'll do another problem to show you how to, how to really get practice and get some uh, comfortable uh, association with how to use this system, this method here. Uh, just like anything else, when you learn a new concept, a new, a new uh, technique, a new topic, at first it seems really difficult. The last section you know, we did a, a problem in excruciating detail, it took our time, it seemed to take forever because I really wanted to show you the method on top of doing a problem. Here, we're not going to outline and write down all the steps as far as the text. We're just going to work it as you would do on a sheet of paper, right? So it's going to go a little bit faster, but it's exactly the same method that we did last time. So let's just jump right in and see what we have. Let's say on a test you were giving a di different differential equation, x uh, double prime, 2x double prime minus 6x prime plus 4x is equal to 6e to the 2t. Now the first thing you notice is the second order equation has got constant coefficients. On the right hand side is something that looks very familiar. So this particular equation, because of the right hand side is so pretty, you know, with the e to the 2t, you could use the annihilator method for this problem. But that's sort of like beside the point. We want to learn how to use variation of parameters, so we're going to use this method here. All right, so just forget about the fact that you could use a different method. The first thing we want to do is put it in standard form. That's what we have to do for variation of parameters. So we're going to divide by 2. So what we'll have is x double prime minus 3x prime plus 2x is equal to 3e to the 2t. We just divide by 2 across the board. All right, next we're going to put it in operator notation. So we'll have d squared minus 3d plus 2 operating on x is equal to 3e to the 2t. All right, so first before I go any farther, I'm going to label the second equation the non-homogeneous version. Yes, this is the original problem, but really you want to work with, with what you have after you put it in standard form. The first thing you really want to do after you write an operator notation is solve the related homo uh, homogeneous version. So you'll have d squared minus 3d plus 2 operating on x is equal to 0. We take this, we throw it away. This is kind of like what we do in every one of these problems almost. So we want to solve this. So what you'll have is r squared minus 3r plus 2 and you set it equal to 0. So we just got to find the roots. This is very easy to factor r, r, 1, 2, minus, minus. It makes sense, right? Because negative r, negative 2r gives me this. This times this is going to give me this. So I factored it. So what I have here is that one root is equal to 1 and one root is equal to 2. So I have everything I need to construct the um, solution to the related homogeneous equation, which is, is this guy. We call this the related homogeneous equation because we just set it equal to 0. So we just say h of t is equal to c1 e to the t coming from here plus c2 e to the 2 t this 2 coming from here. So we have the uh, homogeneous equation written. This is basically half the solution right here. We've basically done half the solution. Next we need to find a particular solution that satisfies this non-homogeneous equation up here. Now the way we're going to do that is we're basically going to guess, we're in, and it's going to be the same for all of these problems. We're going to say that the particular solution is exactly the same form as this homogeneous solution, except we let the constants vary with time. C2 is a function of time, e to the 2 t. And we're basically going to say that that is the form of the uh, particular solution. And in fact, it is the form of the particular solution. So what we're going to do over here, I want to 